As a human race, we share one thing, and that is love. Love, it's the great unifier. It's our one universal truth. And no matter who we are, and where we've come from, or what we believe, we know this one thing. Love is what we're doing right. I have to tell you that I feel that you're very equipped for marriage. <laughs> you have done so much self-discovery before you stand in front of each other today. As I look at you both now, I see the path that led you here. It makes so much sense. The ups and downs, the changes that have made you so much better, each individually and for each other. Niggy, do you take Bonnie to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do you vow to love her and care for her for as long as you both shall live? Do you accept her through thin and thick with all of her faults and strengths and offer yourself to her with all of her own faults and strengths? Do you promise to be faithful and loving companion and to always put the promises you make this day above all else? I do. Do you take Iggy to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you vow to love him and care for him for as long as you both shall live? Do you accept him with all of his faults and strengths and offer yourself to him with all of your faults and strengths? Do you promise to be faithful and a loving companion and to always put the promises you make today above all else? I do. Watching them look at each other and seeing the connection. It was like one of those 80s movies where, you know, the two people look at each other and then the music starts up and, you know, just the, across the room, long draw. And I, I think all of us knew that this day was inevitable. <laughs> um, I remember before, before, like, they even started dating, my dad asked if I liked Bonnie. Of course, I thought she was sugar, spice, and everything nice. I was wrong. She is much better than me. They truly belong together in every way that I can think. 